Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So most of you know that every month I do some grocery shopping through a company called Azure Standard or Azure Standard, however you say it. Um, I've heard it both ways, so I'm not really 100% positive which one is correct. But one of the things I love about Azure Standard is when you go to the grocery pickup, you get to see what other people have purchased and it gives you an idea of some of the things that they carry. I mean, they have so many things that it's hard to fathom just how much they, they carry. And every month when I go to the pickup, I see something that I had no idea that they had. Or you, and there's dogs eating in the living room with their stainless steel bowls, so just ignore the noise. Um, but every month I will see somebody stocking up on something and it's like, oh, I didn't know they had that. And so that's one of the things I love about doing the grocery pickup. And so because of that, I thought I would go ahead and share with you what I purchased this month. But just seeing what I purchased might give you ideas if you uh, take advantage of Azure Standard, Azure Standard, and have a uh, drop off somewhere in your area. So I recently redid my spice rack and inventoried all of my herbs and spices. I have my main spice rack that's here in the kitchen and then I have my overflow in the pantry. I've got all of my extra things that I restock these jars with. Um, spices that I maybe don't use as often. They don't take up real estate in the kitchen. They stay in the pantry. Um, but when I went through them all, I realized that there were quite a few things that I really needed to restock up on. And so that was one of the things that I did this month. I bought quite a few spices and herbs. Um, for instance, I got this great big bag of basil because I do use a lot of basil and so um, I went ahead and got a, a bigger bag of that. I picked up a bottle of smoked paprika. I use a lot of paprika, um, regular paprika, hot paprika, smoked paprika. Um, as a matter of fact, I grew paprika peppers in my last big garden that I did. Um, and maybe I'll grow some this year. We'll just have to wait and see. So the next one I got was chili powder, medium heat. I don't generally do too, too spicy. Mr. Smith likes to add hot sauce to almost everything he eats. So <laughs> we're covered in the heat department. But chili powder is something I go through quite a bit. And so I got a one pound bag of the chili powder. Uh, the basil was also a pound. All right, I got some marjoram. One of the things that I needed to restock is my Italian seasoning, which I make myself. And so you're gonna see a couple of Italian style herbs like the marjoram and the basil. And some rubbed sage. It's been a long time since I've had to actually buy sage because I had um, sage plants in my garden in Alabama and there it's pretty much a, a year-round plant. The, it, the winters didn't kill it um, and so I always had fresh sage, fresh oregano, and fresh thyme year-round there in Alabama. So I'm hoping that this year I can begin establishing my herb garden. Um, the stone beds that were already here existing, that's generally what I want to do there is have all of my herbs up here. And then in the lower area where I'm going to start building all of the raised beds, have that be um, the garden gardens, you know, the tomatoes, the peppers, and all of that. All right, um, I ordered three containers of the Rumford baking powder because this is an aluminum free variety. And you know, we have limited grocery stores here in this part of Arkansas. And so I get this stuff from Azure Standard. It's non-GMO also, I might add. Um, then I got a gallon of raw apple cider vinegar. 
Uh, the more well-known brand of raw vinegar was purchased by a company that I'm not a huge fan of, and so I probably won't be buying that variety any longer. But thankfully, Azure Standard has raw vinegar with the mother. Next, I picked up a five pound bag of powdered milk. Um, Azure Standard is where I get all of my powdered milk from. It's organic and all that good stuff. Um, this is what I use to make like my homemade hot cocoa mix. Um, this can be used for adding creaminess to soups like chowders and things like that. And of course, you can make milk out of it. Always good to have dried milk in your pantry. They also have the A2, um, the A2A2 powdered milk, and I have some of that in my pantry as well. All right, next I picked up four bags of dry beans. I have the black turtle beans. I have pinto beans, kidney beans, and white beans. And the reason I bought all of those beans is because it is time to do some canning. I do not have any beans on my pantry shelf that are not from a grocery store. I've actually been depleting a lot of my uh, beans that were in there. And so I decided that with it still being winter, it's still being prime canning season and prime filling the pantry season, that beans are going to be on my list of things to can here in the coming weeks. All right, so then I have some big bags down here here on the floor. I got a great big bag of the Redmond sea salt, which is my favorite salt. I have been using it for years. I use it for pretty much everything. And I always have this in the pantry, usually quite a bit of it because I don't ever want to run out. Next, I bought a big bag of some rice. I actually had I think two buckets of rice in my pantry to the great big buckets. Um, but not too long ago, I was making something and the bucket of rice that I was currently using was sitting here in the kitchen when little Miss Willow started playing in the rice. And of course that rice is no longer exactly clean <laughs> anymore. Um, but you know, it, she was having so much fun. I just couldn't bring myself to making her stop. And so that bucket of rice has been set aside and it now says Willow's rice. And she likes to play with it. She takes her, the measuring cups and she'll scoop it and pour it and just have a good old time with it. And so I needed to replace that rice. And so thus the great big bag of rice um, from Azure Standard. And then finally, I got a big bag of rolled oats. I've been eating a lot more oats lately. And again, wanting a source of organic oats, this was the best way for me to get it. And then the final thing that I purchased was for canning as well. And that was 50 pounds of potatoes. We actually used the very last of the canned potatoes that we had in the pantry. And Mr. Smith was like, we've got to have more canned potatoes. And I said, all right, let me run to the computer and add it to my Asia standard list this month. And so that is what we did. Mr. Smith loves canned potatoes. I love having canned potatoes in the pantry. A lot of times people ask, why in the world do you can potatoes? But look, you cannot find an easier way to have potatoes on the ready. I have a hard time keeping potatoes fresh in the pantry. My potatoes seem to always grow eyes and start getting soft right away. And so by canning them, I know I've got good edible potatoes 
ready to go anytime I need them. They make for super quick mashed potatoes. You can drain them, do fried potatoes. Um, you can have a super quick potato salad and you don't have to spend the time peeling and dicing and boiling the, the potatoes. You just drain the jar, put them in the mixing bowl, add the other things and ta-da! Practically instant potato salad. And so that's another one of the things that I will be doing lots of canning of here in the coming weeks, which is why when I finished doing my uh, turkey stock, I didn't even bother putting uh, my all-American canner away. As a matter of fact, I'll be getting down my larger one so that I can have them both going at the same time to get all of these potatoes canned and the beans, of course. So that is my haul for this week. I didn't get any frozen goods or anything like that this month. Um, I have been stocking up on frozen vegetables, frozen fruits, things that I can easily throw into the freeze dryer and work on my supplies uh, for the pantry that way. But I've still got lots of things to freeze dry and so I'm focusing this month on all of the canning things. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining me here at the Mountain Homestead. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to you all next time.